we just renovated this room and we'll be putting up the stores and the architectural Almost 30% of occupational injuries are caused by slips, trips, and falls. So similar to what happened to your poor friend out there, slips normally happen when there's liquid on the floor. Well, I slipped on it too. Why didn't I slip? Mm -hmm. That's because you are wearing slip-resistant shoes, similar to these ones. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. And while slip-resistant shoes can reduce the risk of slip, they're not fully preventative. That's right. One limitation of slip-resistant shoes is that they become less effective as they become worn. So shoes often have tread on them, and these tread or tread blocks are often separated by channels. The purpose of these channels is to drain fluid, for example, when stepping on a contaminated surface. However, when the tread becomes worn, these channel indentations fade, and because the fluid has nowhere to go, it can become trapped and pressurized under the shoe. And this increases your slip risk. So now let's take a look at a practical tool that we can use to determine when to replace shoes. So why a battery, you might ask? Well, for one, batteries are very consistently sized. For example, this AA battery would have the same size across all brands. Also, people generally have batteries laying around their homes or their workplaces, so they're very accessible. In addition, our studies have shown that when compared to the smooth surface on the bottom of the slip-resistant shoe, a battery can provide a very good indicator as to whether that shoe is becoming too smooth on the bottom and therefore unsafe. I'm going to show you how to apply this test to shoes. I recommend applying this test once or twice per month. We'll need our tool, which is a AA battery, the test is done in two steps. First, we'll find the worn region on the heel of the shoe, and second, we'll compare the size of the worn region to the AA battery. We'll apply the test first uh, to this shoe. You'll see that there is no worn region on the heel of the shoe, and so this shoe passes the test and can continue to be used. Now we'll apply the test to our second shoe. You'll see that this shoe does have a worn region, uh, but the worn region does not fully surround the base of the AA battery. And so this shoe would also pass the test and can continue to be used. Finally, we'll apply our test to our third shoe. You'll see that this shoe also has a worn region in the heel. If we apply our battery to this worn region, you'll see that the worn region completely surrounds the battery. And so this shoe would fail the test and would need to be replaced. So with all of this information, please remember to wear your slip resistant shoes and to monitor them regularly to keep yourself safe. <laughs>